aligning ourselves with the future Neville Goddard. The day shall arrive when our intellectuals decipher the mystery of the universe's orderly, consecutive, and ongoing display. Nevertheless, what matters most at this crossroad is comprehending how we can harness this attribute of the universe to fashion our approaching occurrences, those still concealed. To achieve this, it is vital to recognize the existence of two realms within this ordered cosmos, one experienced via our bodily senses, and another understood beyond our tangible, savory, audible, visible, and fragrant sensations. It is postulated that human beings hold the capacity to choose the future they intend to occupy at every instant. This prompts the query, how can we pick our future if something seems destined for us? Allow me to clarify using a metaphor involving a book's pages. Our lives appear to unfold like words on a page, each evoking a feeling upon being read. One sentence follows another, inciting various reactions, leading us along row after row, column after column, word by word, consecutively. Once the book ends, we have the option to reassess everything we've consumed. We may alter the meaning of our reading and even build fresh meanings atop what has been etched prior. Dreams represent free thoughts navigating the four-dimensional domain, shaping impressions derived from both yesteryears and futures alike. Rarely do dreams follow a linear sequence, mirroring wakeful hours. Mastering temporal control in the four-dimensional plane grants us the capability to intentionally design conditions in our three-dimensional reality. This occurs during the twilight between waking and sleeping, where concentration remains steady without exertion. Here, we can sculpt our desired future, harmonizing with what awaits. By creating an event we genuinely long to witness in our three-dimensional environment, we arrange the impressions available in the four-dimensional world according to our distinct pattern, interpreting them within our individual framework. Just as in the book example, although all characters exist beforehand, their configuration depends on the reader, or the part we play in this world. Returning now to the core principle of effective petitioning. Remember, to appeal is to situate oneself where the sought entity already exists, where possession is already secured. Therefore, the first action involves identifying the want, followed by imagining it as accomplished. Visualize the final tableau, the one marking achievement, and subsequently, relax the body, maintain immobility, and allow oneself to drift towards a dormant condition, mentally rehearsing that successful scenario repetitively until true rest ensues or deep slumber is reached. As previously stated, yet worth repeating due to its significance, the method of attaining the objective should not be our focus, merely move forward, and the pathway will reveal itself eventually. A passage from Exodus supports this view, though frequently misunderstood. It advises, do not boil a kid in its mother's milk, Exodus 23 verse 19. Traditional biblical translations interpret this as a prohibition against combining dairy with meat and meals. However, when viewed through the lens of enduring principles instead of shifting customs, a deeper wisdom emerges. Practice contemplation just before sleep, adopting the desired persona, acquiring the cherished object. Consciousness equates to divinity, and focused awareness functions similarly to nourishing fluid, bestowing life upon dependence. What receives attention gains vitality. Historically, kids represented sacrifices. Everything brought into existence reflects animation. Still, certain aspects may no longer serve a purpose. Permission is granted to release creations born from insufficient resources, favoring expressions surpassing previous limitations. Transformation has occurred, evolution initiated, rendering older identifications obsolete. Present consciousness has severed ties with earlier stages. Those were the kids, progeny, creations, generated in one's world. Now aligned with a revised self, avoid fixating on the dissolution process of past creations. Dwelling on such matters risks recreating the situation, analogous to preparing a kid in its mother's milk again. Refrain from questioning whether separation has truly transpired and debating the merits of newer versus older selves. Instead, dedicate full attention to the current form, embracing the transformed self. Delving further into Neville Goddard's teachings necessitates exploring the dualistic character of the universe and how perspectives and convictions shape the encountered reality. 
such concepts extend beyond spirituality and metaphysics, finding alignment with quantum mechanics and cognitive science, providing a multifaceted comprehension of human interaction with surrounding environments and inner workings. Quantum physics underscores the critical function of the observer in determining any system's status. Renowned experiments, including the double-slit variety, demonstrate how simple observation influences a particle's conduct, suggesting that our consciousness and anticipations potentially mold reality fundamentally. This perspective resonates with Goddard's claim that personal beliefs and psychological states can translate into the material realm, fortifying the notion that we actively participate in crafting our reality. Cognitive psychology confirms that expectations and beliefs substantially affect perception of reality. Placebo effects illustrate the mind's dominance over the body, wherein belief in a remedy's effectiveness instigates genuine physiological modifications, regardless of the treatment's potency. This phenomenon underscores the mind's authority over matter, supporting the premise that intentional visualization and confidence in a specific result enable individuals to impact life events. The power of creative visualization, advocated by Goddard as a means to achieve our goals, finds support in studies concerning sports performance and injury recovery. Visualization techniques employed by athletes to imagine victories or recoveries have shown significant improvements, suggesting that intensely imagining a desirable result may hasten its emergence in the physical realm. Understanding how to synchronize oneself with the approaching future requires exploring the concept of synchronicity, introduced by Carl Jung. It refers to the occurrence of meaningful coincidences devoid of direct cause-effect relationships, hinting at a deeper connection between the human psyche and the outer world. Aligning thoughts and emotions with intentions mirrors Jung's viewpoint, potentially drawing circumstances reflecting such harmony. By integrating knowledge across multiple fields, there is strong evidence supporting the ability to shape the future and manipulate reality using conscious intention and awareness. Mastery of these principles enables individuals to fulfill personal aspirations and contribute positively towards collective reality. Furthermore, cultivating gratitude and adopting a life-affirming perspective significantly boost one's capacity to manifest desires. Gratitude aligns individuals with prosperous energies, facilitating co-creation with the universe. By fostering appreciation, one becomes more likely to attract what they are grateful for creating a self-reinforcing cycle of positivity and realization. Envision your desired reality as if it were already a tangible entity, but avoid worrying about the specifics of its manifestation or your role in bringing it about. Instead, maintain forward momentum and resist the urge to reminisce. No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God, Luke 9 verse 62. This wisdom comes from your future self, who has progressed and prepared a new path for you to join as a unified whole. By incorporating these insights into daily life, one embarks on a transformative journey where the line between thought and reality blurs, enabling a state of constant creation aligned with one's highest aspirations. Through disciplined visualization, gratitude, and a forward-thinking mindset, Individuals can transition from envisioning to inhabiting their desired future, fostering lives resonant with personal dreams and collective well-being. By blending ancient wisdom with modern understanding, a pathway emerges toward fulfillment, where every individual actively shapes their destiny and contributes to building a world reflective of shared values and aspirations.